was talking to Adam earlier, and he says you're you're feeling it. You're in the zone. You got that that confidence. Would, would you agree? I I would agree. After that one, yes. Um, the first three, I think, yeah, we were fighting it a bit, but uh, this game was was easily our our best game head to toe. Uh, me and me and Mosky found a found a peel we could make on the sheath. We weren't making those early in the week, but uh, we're we're feeling those now. And there's something that to be said a lot about really just getting that feel for the ice, knowing that you can call the broom essentially, put it down, and know that you're going to have a confidence being able to hit that shot, eh? Yeah, especially like we know we know how to make the shots now, and just the confidence moving forward. And that we were definitely fighting it, and and where to put the broom and, and the specific weights to throw uh, in the first couple games. But uh, we have a we have a really good idea, and we're we're starting to place rocks now. You talked about being a little worried after that that start. Is there any sense of relief at this point, knowing that you guys figured it out? Um, not so much. Well, I guess a little bit of relief with those two line scores in the in the middle two games there. Um, probably both games we had it shouldn't shouldn't have won, but we, we took advantage of them and and uh, you know it's just gotta just gotta keep battling. I mean, little scares like that early in the week are good for a team. Uh, it built a lot of character in our team uh, for sure, and uh, we feel like uh, we get down on on a couple teams early. We have that battle in us repeated question here but what is what has Adam brought to the team for you guys yeah I mean his his resume speaks for himself uh, everybody knows Adam and what he brings I mean I've been working with him for probably I reached out to him in May of last year and and we've talked a ton and you know it's I, I've learned so much and and become not even a better curler but just a better person because of the conversations we've had um, I mean perspective is a big thing that we talk about um, curling is is one of the biggest 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 things in our lives but at the end of the day I mean we, we all got families and and things at home and he certainly helped with that and uh, certainly just being in these big moments I mean he's been to the Olympics he's been one world Scotty's Briars etc et so um, I mean he's, he's been in the moment and knows how to bring out the best in, in a, not just a single player but an entire team there's a lot to be said about that and that mindfulness that perspective because you can be a junior you can, you can throw some great rocks but to really make it at this portion of the game you need that eh? totally and and what he's done for me is just helped me become a better leader um especially kind of in my juniors and and early into men's i was more just a just a thrower i would say i mean when i when i was skipping i the leadership skills were were not not quite there a little bit of a loose cannon um, but uh, I've tightened that up a bit, and I mean, it's a huge, huge part because of him. Mike, it's not often uh, you can really get a four on a guy like that and really took advantage of that? Yeah, uh, I, I got a bit fortunate on my first one. I accidentally made a good shot, <laughs> and uh, uh, it, Jimmy just didn't have much room for error. There's a whole bunch of spots where it wouldn't have worked out for him, and, and uh, yeah, he just uh, it was extremely hard not to give me something there, so... Uh, just yeah, worked out that uh, we had a, unfortunately for for the BC boys, a pretty makeable shot. So, four and zero for you guys at this point now. How what has that done for the confidence, and what has just been working for you this week? Um, yeah, I mean we've we've definitely uh, really kind of embraced the ice. Uh, you know, it's uh, and I, I'm sure most teams have. It's it seems like a wonderful surface right now, and um, yeah, I I, I feel like. Uh, you know, we just we're playing good back halves of games. Um, ice ice kind kind of suits us. That's a really good surface, and uh, I think we're playing a little bit with you know being team wild card. I don't know. It just you know maybe you don't have quite the anxiety or stress uh, playing for your province, even though you know we're you know deep down we're still representing uh, Manitobans, but. Um, yeah, it just feels a little bit easier being in black. More stressed than that first game, eh? <laughs> well, obviously, we had the most amount of anybody in that first game, and so maybe that's part of it too. It just uh, everything's uh, felt pretty easy the last couple of days. So four and all, you guys are cruising along pretty nicely going into two big games tomorrow against Cooey and mm -hmm. uh, Epping. Oh yeah, no, and uh, so this is where we wanted to be. Um, you know that that was definitely the goal. Be unscathed uh, because we've got. Uh, I think we play back to back uh, tomorrow and uh, against the, you know, obviously the two, two other top ranked teams in our pool. Um, you know, love to win both of them. Um, hopefully, at least win one. But uh, yeah, two great teams. So 
uh, it's going to be a tough day. So, Jamie, how important is a, a two-win day like that? Uh, it's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, we knew we had to come out with a couple wins today to really stay in the thick of it. We got a couple. We have a tough day tomorrow with, uh, I think, Botcher and Jacobs. So, uh, you know, we had to win a couple today. That's what we did. So we'll rest up and get ready for tomorrow. There's a lot to be said about teams kind of finding their groove or figuring things out along the way, figuring out the ice. How has that been for your team so far? Not bad. Yeah, we played really well this morning, picked the ice up great. We struggled with that sheet a little bit. Um, just couldn't really get a good set of stones together. But, uh, you know, pulled off the win and we'll get ready for tomorrow. And obviously, like feeling pretty confident or feeling pretty good about still being in the mix and still playing for something at this point, eh? Yeah, I mean, we feel like you know we got to win, uh, you know, at least one of the next three and two would be r really good. So uh, you know, one game at a time. We'll see what we can do in the afternoon. How important is it to make sure you don't have three losses going to the championship pool? Yeah, I mean, I think if you want to have a chance at playing on the weekend, you got to be two losses coming out of your pool for sure. So. Uh, you know, we got a, like I said, we got a couple of tough games tomorrow. So uh, you know, five and two is kind of the what we're eyeballing. But uh, you know, try and win the first one. So you got experience, you got youth, and uh, experience took it this time around. How'd you guys do that? Well, hey, those kids are are good curlers, and um, you know, uh, I was talking to uh, Jake Higgs about them, and he said they were really really good uh, throwers and a couple of strategy issues. But I didn't see many strategy issues. You know, they I thought they played a really good game, and uh, you know they had a lot of fans here, so I'm sure they were nervous. I mean, I could tell they were nervous, and uh, you know they made a they made a nice run back in the uh, last end, and I got fortunate to make mine and. And uh, it was funny, the ice got really quick in the last uh, well, last three ends, and he put his first one through. Like, if he if he uh, comes around that one, I'm going to have to bury one around mine, and it's, it's a different story. But, uh, and then, uh, you know, he, he went through the house on the first one, and then he just took a bit too much off, and it got to the center line and stopped. So I'm happy to win that one. Yeah, what's your evaluation of the week so far? Are you guys playing where you want, or where you want to be at? Yeah, well, I mean, when we uh, when we looked at the schedule, I mean, uh, well, first of all, we're happy to be here. There's no no doubt about that. But um, you know, it would have been great to be three and one going into I would say the the, the topper ranked teams uh, starting tomorrow. But uh, we're happy with two and two. We didn't curl well enough against the Nova Scotia boys today, and then they shot the lights out. I mean, that's what happens in curling, and uh, it was nice for us old guys to bounce back after back-to-back -back games and uh, you know we played pretty well today and uh, so we're happy to be where we are honestly.